John and Baldwinson, you must be really pleased with that team effort against Barrow and also the contribution from yourself this afternoon. Absolutely, you know, I thought the boys dug real deep today. Um, it was a really enjoyable game for myself, obviously the first home game back after my long-term injury. and I felt like I got some good minutes today, I built, built some nice confidence, so hopefully now we've got a week off, I can do some real nice, some real good training and hopefully next week I can push it even further. So yeah, it was a real good win, especially when we went, we went down to 12 men. Um, you could see the boys dug real deep to get that win over the line. Eamon's highlighted the character and spirit of the side in that last 30 minutes down to 12 men. Is that the positive as a player that you see that you've managed to weather that storm and, and hold out and, and get the win? Absolutely, we know Barrow are a good team. You know They're a tough working team, they, they scrap for everything and we knew it was going to be a real tough, tough game and when we went down to 12 men obviously they scored that try pretty quick after and um, you know I'm guessing a lot of fans were being a bit uh, sceptical, but obviously it's uh, you know it was real good to see that the boys dug deep. Um, we grinded out the win, and it wasn't really a case of being flashy, being fancy. It was a case of getting the win. That was the most important thing. We were disappointed with last week. We know that there were a lot of um, things that we needed to brush up on, and our main focus this week was a reaction. And I felt that in large parts of the game we had that reaction. There were times where we dropped off a little bit and there were a bit of a lack of focus. But I think we grabbed it in the right times to get the game over the line. So that was, that's what's most impressive. You mentioned that the lack of focus. I think any coach will tell you you're never going to get a, a 10 out of 10, a 100% performance. But is that an area you feel that the side need to work on when you start fast, you start strong, you stick to the game plan, 16 mil up and then you know, for whatever reason, that focus kind of drops and, and you move away from it. Absolutely, you know, we get we get given a real clear game plan by him and, you know, he doesn't really leave any stone unturned. So it's down to us to perform on the pitch, really. You know, there have there been times where we've been a little bit frustrated with ourselves and we've gone away from the game plan. You know, evidence last week against Batley, we started really well. We went away from the game plan and we were, we were in a, a fight with uh, Batley. So, um, you know, it is frustrating, but I think we've also got to remember that you know, we've had Tyra, Tyra not playing in the halves, we've had John Davis playing in the halves. Um, and we've not really had that settled half-back pairing, so, you know, touch wood. We've got Gaspar back now, which is a massive lift for the team. We know what he can do uh, individually, and I think, you know, it's nice to see that him and Jordan hopefully can build up a partnership now. I think it's going to be really important over the next few weeks that we hit the ground running and our next few games that them two can really connect, get together and, and steer the ship around for the team. But yeah, you know, there is going to be frustrating times, but every week's a chance to learn. And I think that the boys really showed good evidence of that today in this game. On yourself, last week it almost felt <laughs> nine, ten minutes. Yeah. This week you've done 45, 50. How, how's the body and, and what's it like to be back out there at championship level? Oh, it's brilliant, you know. It's been a, a really long, long learning um, journey for me. Um, you know, 11 months um, and obviously I've been in huge contact with, with, with Eamon all the time regarding my injury and, and credit to Eamon because he, he's been really helpful towards my injury. You know, at times where I've been you know, quite negative at times where I'm thinking, am I ever going to play again? Because it's such a long injury and it's a daunting injury, but it was really good. I know last week it wasn't many minutes, but it's a step in the right direction. You know, 10 minutes is better than no minutes, in my opinion. And this week, I really enjoyed being out there and I do feel that I contributed really well. So, um, you know, I know that it's still only early and, you know, I've got to keep on top of this injury because it's not really an injury you can just forget about. But yeah, I'm happy, I'm confident that you know, I can you know, try and work my way back into the team. I think today has held me in good stead and I'm confident that we can go again the next, in the next game. And with Bradford having all this adversity, I mean even today there's eight players that are missing, your Sam Hallis's, your Dan Smith, your Michael Lawrence's. One thing is when that adversity subsides, there's going to be one heck of a challenge, competition for places, and Eamon's probably not had that welcome headache yet this year. Absolutely, you know, we look at the sideline and the lads that are not playing, and there's so much leadership and quality that you think, wow, like, if we had a fully fit team, it'd be, you know, it'd be pretty hard to get in this team, you know. I'd, 
it'd be a challenge, but that's what we want as players. You're at the wrong club if you want it easy at Bradford. I think, um, you know, Eamon instills a bit of a hard working mentality in the team, and if you're not working hard, there's a player that's just as good as you that will take your place. So, you know, let's don't get me wrong, not having Michael Lawrence in the team, Sam Alice, Dan Smith, it is going to have an impact on the team. They, they, they are hard working leaders and they do play real hard. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, not, it's never not good when you've not got them in the team, but at the same time, it gives opportunities for, the, for, like, for the likes of me to try and earn my shirt back, you know. Um, before I got injured, I felt that, you know, I was enjoying my rugby, I was playing well, and it now gives me the opportunity to try and keep the standards up there for the lads that are not playing. So, you know, it's when one door closes, another one opens, I guess. I asked Eamon this question about, did he feel that the lessons of last week had been learned? And he said, they're being honest, no, because of obviously that lack of focus. Mm -hmm after the 16-0 lead and in the second half obviously the character and spirit down to 12 men but there was still um, you know a bit of sloppiness and scrappiness to the play. What, what do you put that down to John? Um, I think we went away from the game plan. I know Eamon's probably already said this again. We, we came in at half time after 20 minutes in the first half we were on fire you know I thought wow this is a top start. I, I would think I'd love to have started today but um, but yeah, we were on fire, we were sticking to the game plan, we were playing hard, we were, playing, we were winning the rock. And we seemed to almost get a little bit bored of that. I, I, think, I feel that, you know, we were trying things that we didn't really need to try. We were getting joy around the rock, uh, playing the ball quick around the middle, going down there, going through their middles, and, and we came away from it a little bit. So, I think it is, you know, um, a lack of, of control, but at the same time, the way that we brought it back, I think, was impressive. Um, but listen, it's it's not an individual thing. So like, I don't believe that you can blame any individuals for going away from the game. It's a collective. Us boys coming off the bench, we need to make sure that when we come on, we're better than the lads that started. And uh, you know, that's our job at the end of the day. Um, your halves and, and your fullback and things like that. You know, yeah, it, 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 a lot of it is down to them to control the game, but it's also on us as middles to make sure that the rook's tight, we're winning tackles, we're carrying the ball, we're finding our front. So it's a mixture of everything, really. Um, but, you know, we have a week off now. It's going to be nice to relax, try and switch off a little bit, but when we come back, Eamon's just mentioned it in the changing rooms there, we're not holding back, we're going for it, we're going we're gonna to restart the cover we're going to go again for the next few games so yeah it's going to be an intense week when we're back